Hello, this is Mark from www.supergenius99.com and this video lecture is going to be about dividing fractions and then we're going to throw in some variables in a minute. Okay, so let's look at this first one. So we got 20 over 17 divided by 5. So first let's think about how do we divide fractions. Well, you take the fraction that is behind the division symbol and you get the reciprocal and you multiply. Well, you might say, well, 5 five isn't a fraction, it's a whole number. Yeah, you're right, 5 is a whole number, but how can you turn any whole number into a fraction? You just take that whole number and set it over 1. So 5 is a fraction, it's 5 over 1. Now, before we multiply this fraction, we have to do what? We have to get the reciprocal of 5 over 1. So what is the reciprocal of 5 over 1? The reciprocal of 5 over 1 is 1 over 5, and then when we get the reciprocal of the fraction that is behind the division symbol, we multiply. Okay? So, let's go ahead and multiply. But before we multiply, we can reduce. Because, see, 20 is in the numerator, 5 is in the denominator, and both of those numbers are divisible by 5. So, we reduce that. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, and then let's multiply. So 4 times 1, 4. 17 times 1, 17. So 20 over 17 divided by 5 is 4 over 17. Good? Alright, how about the next one? Negative 3 divided by 12 over 17. So first thing, let's make negative 3 into a fraction. So that's negative 3 over 1 divided by 12 over 17, okay? And then remember, how do we divide fractions? We take the fraction that is behind the division symbol, and we're going to get the reciprocal and multiply. So it's the reciprocal of 12 over 17, 17 over 12. We're going to multiply those two together. Before we multiply, we reduce. So I see that I have a 3 in the numerator, 12 in the denominator. Both of those are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay? So negative 1 times 17. Negative 17. 1 times 4 is 4. So 3 divided by 12 over 17 is negative 17 over 4. Alright. Now let's do some where we got some variables in here. Okay, so we got negative 11x squared over 12 divided by 8 over x to the fourth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the reciprocal of 8x to the fourth over 3, which is 3 in the numerator and then x to the fourth in the denominator. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply. For I multiply, I reduce. So do I see anything that can reduce here? Uh, I see a 3 and 1 in the numerators, a 12 in the denominator. Both of those are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. I also see x to the 4th in a numerator and x squared in a denominator. So how do I reduce these variables? Remember, you just subtract your exponent. So 4 minus 2 is 2. The most exponents were in the denominator, so that x squared, or x to the 2 power, is going to stay in the denominator. Okay, now let's multiply those numbers. 11 times 1 is 11. 4 times 8, okay, 32. And x squared was in the denominator, so I need to make sure I still have an x squared in the denominator. Alright, how about the next one? 20x to the 4th over 9y to the 6th divided by 14x squared over 17y to the 4th. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the reciprocal of the number that is behind the fraction. Okay. So the reciprocal of 14x squared over 17y to the 4th is 17y to the 4th over 14x squared. So just basically flip it. Okay. Before I multiply, I reduce. So do I see anything up here that can be reduced? 
I see a 14 in the denominator, I see a 20 in the numerator, and I know both of those are even, so automatically they're divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay? And let's check out those variables. We got y to the fourth in the numerator, y to the sixth in the denominator. All I got to do is just subtract those exponents. So six minus four is y to the second power. So where does it go? It goes in the denominator because the most were in the denominator. And then I got an x to the fourth in the numerator, x squared in the denominator. So I just subtract those exponents. Four minus two which is 2, so that's x to the second power, and where does it go? It goes in the top, because that's where the larger ones were. Okay, let's see if we can multiply all these. So 10 times 17, uh, I think that's pretty easy, 170. And let's see here, there are x squares in the top, so that's going to be x squared, over 9 times 7, which is... 63, and the y squares were in the bottom. Okay, so 20x to the 4th over 9y to the 6th divided by 14x squared over 17y to the 4th is equal to 170x squared over 63y squared. Alright, so once again, how you divide a fraction? Okay, you get the reciprocal of the fraction that is behind the division symbol and then you multiply. How do you multiply fractions? Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So this includes my video, video lecture about dividing fractions with variables. You can look over online, www.supergenius99.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this and pass your tests.